Apple. I'm practicing my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, yoo -hoo. Hey, no fraternizing with the competition. Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> Soccer. <laughs> Soccer? This is too easy. I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? for the opening ceremony, and you are not helping. Relax. I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's like kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Tower, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. 
And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now for Team Sport. Roll the rollerblades simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fan and diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <laughs> So what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable, but I'm still not happy about this. Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off. Linspring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no! An early upset as Lin falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching their next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes long. Sorry, Cheeky. I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mart currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> chosen to combine their members, the Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just cheeky chocolate. Okay, then. Let's get this relay underway! On your marks. Get set. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. 
What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks, get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, with Bone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams. <gasps> what an amazing end to the games. Check you later. the Shopville Speedway. What a day it is to be racing. Perfect conditions on the track for our three competitors. Toasty Pop, Cheeky Chocolate, and Strawberry Kiss. Who do you think is going to bring home the championship title? Eh. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Kooky. Who knows who will win? It could be anyone's race. And we're off. Strawberry Kiss pulling ahead with an early lead. Follow closely by Cheeky and Toasty as we enter Shopville. camping trip I had in mind. Yeah, why are we here, Lippy? Shady Diva is back in Shopville unveiling her new hat collection. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Guys, can you at least try to not embarrass me this time? Hello, <sighs> darlings. Dusty, you beautiful creature, is that you? Why on earth are you waiting in this line? Come, my darling. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, it is far too bright outside to be judging your friend. Come, all of you, quickly. I am so glad you are here, darling. You are the inspiration behind my latest creation. Don't I look fab? Ah! Toast! Ah! They're everywhere! Uh, Toasty, that's just your reflection. Oh, so, my darling, will you change your mind and travel the world with me? You'll get all the free clothes you could ever want. No thanks. I'm already wearing the real thing. What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Check you later. Shop in, shop in. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature! <laughs> uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed! What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. 
Oh my gosh, this is so magical. It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Oh. Phew! And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. Huh. Like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later.